Okay, this is a review of the Montegear RFID field detector for 13.56 megahertz. Um, we've got here an ACS, it's an ACR1281U, and a little USB desktop reader. And what I'm going to do is compare and review the, the Montegear with the, um, the Tour Camp kind of made uh, device. It's similar. So these are both passive devices. Um, they just have a loop antenna and then some LEDs and a capacitor. Um, what's interesting about the Tour Camp uh, device is that it's both low frequency and high frequency. You change it just with the uh, jumper right here. So being able to detect high frequency, um, you know, you can see it's kind of not a lot of play there. You just put this down and we're looking at, uh, you know, pretty good range. Pretty good there. Um, but it's, you know, you, you you put it in the field, detects well, you bring it just slightly out and it's hardly anything. So um, what's also interesting about this is if you put it right down, it draws so much power that the reader goes into peer-to-peer -peer mode and it just, um, you know, it's trying to communicate now with uh, with a peer device. The, the LED has stopped blinking and it's just basically just dumping out energy, um, which is interesting. Um, by contrast, the Montegear, um, this this device is great. Uh, I like the the essential range you get on it. It's hard to see, but you can still see it's flashing very faintly at quite a distance away. So it's uh, it's very sensitive, which is great. You can you can uh, get a lot of range on it. You can see as I as I get closer and closer, the LED lights brighter and brighter. Um, and you know when it's directly on the reader, it doesn't draw enough power to fool the reader into thinking it's in a peer mode, it just um, you know does its job and gives you field strength based on the uh, intensity of the flash. So I really like it, it's very thin, super thin PCB um, versus you know something like this which is more traditional uh, board. What I, uh, what I wish this had, um, it's great for what it is, it's credit card size, perfectly fits in the wallet. Um, it, is, it is a little bit flexible, um, not, not, not Hugely flexible, but flexible enough. Um, what I'd really love is, um, I don't know if you can really make it out, but the uh, the loop antenna goes around the perimeter. Um, what I'd love is an internal loop, you know, offset these components a little bit, and an internal loop that, uh, that did low frequency at the same time, so that you could have one device, you know, maybe a little bit more flexible. I don't know how that would be achieved. Maybe a different type of material or a flexible PCB, like you see in uh, disposable cameras or something. But... Um, something to where I could put this in my wallet, pop it up on a reader, and know immediately if it's low frequency, high frequency, you know, that's that's where the real use case for me would come in. But uh, overall, really like this. Uh, I'm going to keep it in my wallet and see how well it holds up uh, with uh, being sat on day after day.